Together with those COVID news, now a new Omicron subvariant is causing quite a spike in infections in certain countries. The BA.2 subvariant is accounting for almost half of new COVID-19 cases in both the UK and Denmark. But joining us now is Professor Tulio D. Oliveira from the University of KwaZulu Natal's CRISP Institute. Prof, always a pleasure to speak to you this morning. Thank you so much for your time. What do we know so far about this Omicron subvariant? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, and and thank you for inviting me again to your show. So, so we know quite a lot about this Omicron uh, subvariant. First, the Omicron is also known as the BA lineage, and that's where we come. We have the BA one, that's the, the 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 initial Omicron, the BA two, and the BA three. Yeah. What we know about the BA two, we know that the BA two is increasing in prevalence in, in many counties around the world. And, and also in South Africa. So at the moment is around uh, between 20 to 40 percent of prevalence uh, in the different provinces. But that's not to worry because what's happened when a sub lineage is increasing prevalence, but the numbers is going down. Yeah. The only thing that we have to do is to be alerted, but not concerned. So we have no reason to believe it that 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 will cause any surge of infections, neither in South Africa or anywhere in the world, because all the numbers of infections are going down also in many countries of the world. And and what we have done in South Africa, yeah, we are studying very well that that sub lineage, the BA2, is still Omicron, yeah. And at the moment, we don't have many reasons to be worried. The only big difference between the BA1 and BA2 is that the BA2 cannot be detected in a normal qPCR test, yeah, which is a proxy for Omicron. Otherwise, they seem to have the very similar characteristics of lower hospitalization and very clear that the vaccines and previous infections still produce good immunity against both Omicron, BA1, and BA2. Mm. Uh, and I think, Prof, you made a good point there to say that it's not a cause for panic, but just to be aware and to be uh, alert, because it is the nature of viruses to mutate and evolve, right? Yes, yes, that's what viruses do. And not only virus, also bacteria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for example... One thing that 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 the world is also a uh, concern, especially uh, this this going out this year, is what we call antimicrobial resistance, and that's the same process. It's pro it's, it's it's mutations on on pathogens, mostly virus and bacteria, that make some of the therapy less less effective. And in South Africa, we know very well, for example, on XDR and MDR TB, and that's why it's very important to have a good genomic surveillance and scientific. Uh, uh, system that can quickly detect variants, mutations, and devise interventions, which, which do, did help us in South Africa. Mm. As you know, we, we had quite a, a easy end of the year compared with the previous year, yeah, and, and it's also helping the world to respond to, to the Omicron with less, with less deaths yeah, and increase the vaccination. Yeah. Right. And speaking of that vaccination and, and, and vaccines, uh, Prof, I may just ask you this before I let you go. Can we expect vaccines uh, to you know, have an effect against severe illness upon you know, the BA.2 infection? Yes, yes, of course, of course, we can we can expect the the vaccine to be very effective against the BA2. So, for example, is no signal on the date of increased hospitalization or severity. Yeah, and 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 at the moment, what we see in South Africa and other countries in the mm -hmm. world that the BA2 is increasing prevalence, but the number of infections is not increasing. And 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 you just released the data from the NICD showing 1.2 thousand infections a day. Of course. This data is potentially from Sunday, will be a little bit higher. But, but at the moment, the vaccines hold extremely well against all the variants, and especially, especially well against the Omicron, which it sub-lineages BA1, BA2, and BA3. All right. Well, thank you so much for this information. Speaking to us this morning, Prof, always a pleasure having you, Professor Tulio D. Oliveira.